Revelation chapter 1 and verse 14. His head and his hairs were white like wool. And the Bible said Christ's hair and his hair were white and colored. Wool in texture. What nation of people have woolly texture hair upon the face of the earth? Like Afro and black, correct? So that's the first strike. Christ had a woolly texture hair. He didn't have a blind straight hair. You understand that? Right. You know? As white as snow. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. And his feet. Christ is feet, his eyes were as a flame of fire. And Christ drunk wine. That was his first miracle. He drunk wine in moderation. He was a drunk. You understand? And his feet like unto fine brass. We don't. And his feet like unto fine brass. As if they burn in a furnace. And the Bible said Christ's feet is like unto fine brass as if they burn in a furnace. If you burn white rice, what color are you going to get? Black, right? So the Bible just tells us that Christ is a dark, dark skin man according to the Bible. You understand? Right, right. So whenever somebody asks you what color is Christ, what you going to tell them, bro? Black. All praise to the most high. We are Israel United in Christ, and we come out here to teach our people who we are according to the Bible. We come out here to show our people their true nationality, their true identity, all right? For far too long, we've been going by African-American. That's not in the Bible. We are the Israelites. We are God's chosen people. Give me that Isaiah 60, verse 2. Bring it up. All right? Isaiah chapter 60, verse 2. Our history is in the Bible. The true history of the black man is in the Bible. That's right. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 60 and verse 2. For behold, the darkness shall cover the earth, a gross darkness the people. But the Lord shall arise upon thee, and his glory shall be seen among upon thee. Give it, uh, start with verse 1. I think right. Verse 1. Arise, shine, for the light is come. The Bible said arise. That means awake out of your sleep. Away from this cover that's been covering your face, from the media, from America lies that they're teaching our people. God is saying away from that. Come back to who you are. Come back to your nationality. How you doing, bro? How you doing? And so we come out here to teach our people who we are. Did you know you're the Israelite according to the Bible? I heard a little bit about it. You heard a little bit about it? All right, tell me what you know, bro. I only know what uh, Kyrie Irving and uh, Kanye said, that we the true Jews. Okay, we are the true Jews according to the Bible. And our history is documented here in the Bible. Right. All our history, everything that we've been, we've been through, the slavery, the oppression, the racial injustice, the redlining, everything that we have been through, that we are still going through, is written in the Bible. You understand that? Now, we go, are we under a curse or a blessing? Are we right now under a curse or a blessing? So curse right it ain't good it ain't good give me that in jeremiah 16 start with verse 10. we are under a curse bro we are being cursed by god for breaking his commandments because god created everybody right but he chose us he chose the special people that's us because we went astray from god's commandments that's why these curses are happening unto us give me what you got why are these curses happening to us as a people read it this is the book of jeremiah chapter 16 and verse 10. And it shall come to pass when thou shalt show this people all these words, and they shall say unto thee, Wherefore hath the Lord pronounced all this great evil against us? Because that's what we're going through right now. We're trying to figure out why are we the only one first? Why are we the only one being gunned down in the street? You understand? Why are we catching hell? Why are we catching these plagues, sicknesses that's coming to us? You understand? Why is there a single parent household in the black community? You understand? Why are we being shot down by the cops? Why are we being oppressed? So it's coming to our mind then. Why are all these things happening unto us? Read. Or what is our iniquity? What is our iniquity, God? What have we done? So we're trying to figure that out. You understand? Read. Or what is our sin that we have committed? What is our sin? What have we done? Why are we, why are we the only people that's going through this? You understand? 
That's the question we have. Why are we going through what we're going through and everybody else is at ease? You understand? This is the answer. We don't. Against the Lord our God. Then thou shalt say unto them, Because your fathers have forsaken me. Because our forefathers have forsaken God. We are going to stray from God's commandments. Like, for example, so there's the Sabbath day. You understand? You know what the Sabbath day is? No. Okay, the Sabbath day is a commandment given by God for us to keep holy, to keep separated from every other day. On the Sabbath day, you cannot buy, you cannot sell. You're supposed to come together and congregate. So we asking God, why are, why are all these all these things happening unto us? This is the question. Because our Father has forsaken God. And we as a people, we have forsaken God, bro. We have uh, fornication go, 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 running rampant in the black community. Adultery running rampant in the black community. We have hatred towards one another. We have forsaken this Bible. This is not the white man's fault, bro. Our This is our history, bro. This is our record. We don't. We're really good, actually. Because your fathers have forsaken me, says the Lord, and have walked after other gods. We have walked after other gods, bro. We are in Christianity. You understand? Christianity is not of God. We have worshipped Islam. That is not of God. Our forefathers have forsaken God. That's why these curses are on us. You understand? We don't. Because our fathers have forsaken me, says the Lord, and have walked after other gods and have served them and have worshipped them. So these are the re that's the reason we're going through what we're going through. Because our forefathers have forsaken God. And we haven't been taught coming up in America that we're supposed to keep God's commandments. You understand? Are you married, bro? No. Are you dealing with a woman right now? That's good. All pre oh, you say, oh, what does that mean? I don't know what that means. Okay. Maybe. Yeah. Okay. So did you know, according to the Bible, that we're supposed to marry. God said marriage is honorable. Anything else that you do outside of that, that's going contrary to God's commandments, given that Hebrews 13 and 4. God said marriage is honorable. This is the way that we what? Stop the single parent household in the black community by marrying our sisters, you understand? the single parent household. You understand? God said marriage is honorable in all. Read on. In the bed, undefiled. Meanwhile, if you're married to a sister, whatever you do in the bed is undefiled. As long as you're not breaking up uh, the marriage sex law. So God honors marriage. So this is the way that we we build a nation, build a community. We, we have to get married. You understand? Right. We cannot go just fornicating with our sisters, leaving her with a baby, having an abortion. You understand? We cannot do these things. God said marriage is honorable. So what you gotta do, my brother? You have to get married. You have to prove the sister first. Give me that Sarah six and seven. You have to prove the sister first. Okay, you know. But whoremongers and adulterers, God will judge. But whoremonger and adulterer, that's that brother that's not married, that's that sister that's not married. Just sleeping around, just having sex with a whole bunch of women, sister having sex with a whole bunch of men. That's adulterer, God, God is gonna judge us for what? In place. And sicknesses, you understand? You get uh, got, got a real sickness, AIDS, all these things will come upon us because, wow, we haven't been taught that marriage is honorable. You understand what I'm saying? Yes, like AIDS, for example, sickness, for example, all, these are persons from God. So we get AIDS, for example, HIV, for example, all these uh, herpes, herpes, for example, all these things come. What, 
talk from uh, breaking guys up. Because we go out with the system, we don't prove the system, we just go ahead and have sex with the system. But you're supposed to prove that system that you want to spend the rest of your life with. <laughs> His father is American black. Yes, sir. All right, what's going on, bro? I got you, bro. Give me one sense. You know, your father is American black, right? Yeah, so. All right, so you know who else is from our tribe of American black, the so-called American black today? Christ. You know what color is Christ? The same blood that's run through your van runs through Christ's van. The greatest man to ever walk the face of the earth. He looks just like him. He looks just like him, bro. Christ is a black man according to the Bible, and we're going to prove that for you. Right. Read what you got. This is the book of Hebrews, chapter 7, and verse 14. Bring it out. For it is evident that our Lord sprang out of Judah. The Bible said it's plain, it's evident that Christ sprang out of Judah, Jeremiah 14 and 2. These are the things that we have to know, bro, to increase our self esteem. Right now, we're just walking around thinking we're black people, thinking we're African American. You understand? You're from the uh, tribe of Judah. That's the same tribe Christ came from, bro. We're the greatest people to ever walk the face of the earth. That's but right. we haven't been taught that. We've been, we have been degraded. We listen to these rap songs that's degrading our culture, right. degrading our women. You understand? Read what you got for me. The book of Jeremiah, chapter 14 and verse 2. Bring it out. To the morning and the gates thereof languish. We're going through curses right now. We're suffering. We're mourning as a people. We don't have any protection. That's what it means, the gates language. There's no black com uh, leader in the black community, bro. These rappers, these artists are not leaders. You understand what I'm saying? This music is not helping us. We don't. They are black unto the ground. The so-called African-American, they are from the tribe of Judah. They are black unto the ground. Meaning what? Different shades of brown. Right. So when we read in Hebrews chapter 7, verse 14, listen here, bro. So when we read, read in Hebrews chapter 7, verse 14, it said, it is evidence that Christ sprang out of Judah. You're from the same tribe Christ came from. You understand? You know what color Christ is, bro? Black. He's black, right? All right, we're going to prove that for you. Do what you want. The book of Revelations. This is your history book. Chapter 1 and verse 1. Bring it out. The revelation of Jesus Christ. So the Bible about to depict what Christ looks like. The revelation of Jesus Christ. We have been lied to. We go to churches and see all these white images, bro. That's a lie according to the Bible. So the Bible about to tell you what Christ looks like. Not the white man, he gave you white image. That's not in the Bible. Read what you got. His head and his excuse me. Revelation chapter 1 and verse 14. His head and his hairs were white like wool. So the Bible said Christ's hair and his hair were white and colored. Wool in texture. What nation of people have woolly texture hair upon the face of the earth? Like Afro and black, correct? So that's the first strike. Christ had a woolly texture hair. He didn't have a blonde string in here. You understand that? Right. We don't. As white as snow, and his eyes were as a flame of fire. And his feet. And Christ's feet, his eyes were as a flame of fire. And Christ drunk wine. That was his first miracle. He drunk wine in moderation. He wasn't a drunk. You understand? And his feet light on the fine brass. If I ask you what color brass is, what would you say, bro? What color is, is brass? Brass. Yeah. Like a penny color, you know what I'm saying? And Christ's feet like unto fine brass. We don't. And his feet like unto fine brass, as if they burn in a furnace. So the Bible said Christ's feet is like unto fine brass, as if they burn in a furnace. If you burn white rice, what color are you going to get? Black, right? So the Bible just tells us that Christ is a dark, dark skin man according to the Bible. You understand? So whenever somebody asks you what color is Christ, what you gonna tell them, bro? Black. All praise to the most high. What's going on, my brother? Real quick, bro. Are you married? No. You have a girlfriend? Okay. So let me ask you a question. Is that okay according to the Bible? Is that okay to God that we supposed to have girlfriends and boyfriends? What what does God honor? Huh? What does God honor? Because he doesn't honor girlfriend and boyfriend. He honors marriage. You understand? All right, so he honors marriage. How you doing, my brother? Okay. So we are here teaching our people who we are. But I, ain't got, uh, I got you, bro. So we are here teaching our people who we are and what we're supposed to do to, turn to, to inherit eternal life. You understand? First, we learn why these curses are happening unto us. And second, we learn marriage is honorable. 
third it, we learned that Christ is a black male according to the Bible. Do y'all have any questions for me? And we can prove everything that we said. You understand? Just give me one second. I got you, bro. Do you have any questions for me? Do you know your nationality? Black? Black is a color. You know what I'm saying? You understand what I'm saying? I'm going to prove to you. We have the answer. Like, Deuteronomy chapter 1 verse 1. Hey, stick, stick around, bro. Give me five minutes. I got you. Give me five minutes. All right, please, man. The book of Hebrews, this is my chapter 13 and verse 4. Marriage is honorable in all. You hear what God said? The Bible said marriage is honorable. This is how we build a strong community. Right. And after that, we build a strong nation. Right. God said marriage is honorable. This is going to eliminate the single parent household in the black community. Right. Right. Fathers, children raising up without father and mother. This is going to stop it if we apply their laws into our life. Right. If we honor marriage and we're not fornicating out here. You understand? Right. We don't. And the bed undefiled, but whoremongers and adulterers, God will judge. You hear that, my sister? The Bible said whoremonger and adulterer, God will judge. Many of that brothers that just sleep around and that sister that just around the way, God is going to judge you. How does one way that God does God judge us? What, does, what, what judgment do we get from Corny King going against marriage? What judgment comes to us as a people? Yeah, if we don't honor marriage, we don't prove this, sister, we just fornicate. What type of sicknesses come from fornication? Sin. Huh? You're sinning. You're not, you're not married, you're sinning. That is correct. You are sinning. But if you just fornicate, what type of sickness, for example, you can get for fornicate? Fornication. Diseases, that is correct. You understand? Because we're not honoring marriage as a people. That's why all these plays cleave onto us. You understand? So God has said we have to honor Mary. This is very, very important to our community. You understand? You got any questions for me, sister? Huh? You with me? You believe in God, sis? I know already. You know already? So you believe in God? I believe in God. All right, give me that right, uh, 32, 24 real quick. You believe in God, right? You believe in God, bro? In All praise to the most high. Spirituality? All right, sis. We're going to get that for you also. But these are, this is the step that we got to take if we say we believe in God, all right? And this is not a fight. I'm just here to edify you. You understand? This is the book of Sirach, chapter 32 and verse 24. Bring it out. And he that believeth in the Lord taketh heed to the commandments. You hear what the Bible says, sis? He that believeth in God going to take heed to the commandments of God. You're going to listen. You're going to apply it. Deuteronomy 22 or 5. You understand? So if you believe in God, sis, you will apply the commandments out of this Bible. You're not going to listen to what man said. Don't listen to what I say. If I'm not coming out of this Bible, don't listen to it. You understand? We are. Uh, this is for you, sis. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 22 and verse 5. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. You hear what the Bible say? The Bible said a woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. What does that mean to you? It means it's a tradition that has passed. No, no, no. The woman, read again for the sister. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. The woman cannot wear that which pertaineth unto a man. What do you think that means? It doesn't apply today. It does apply today, correct? It doesn't? Give me that, uh, Matthew 5, 17. It's the New Testament. The New and the Old Testament are all the same. You understand? The only law that we don't have to keep is the sacrificial law. Because Christ came to fulfill that. You understand? So, we're going to read this for you just to edify you. The book of Matthew, chapter 5 and verse 17. Bring it out. Think not that I have come to destroy the law. What does Christ say, sis? Yeah, he didn't come to destroy it, but to fulfill. Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is women's support. Nation is children with role models. 